might not work for you. You might not like the cut kind of milk I give to my children. Hey guys, blessing here and how are you all doing? Yeah, so the last time I talked about this family, a life less scripted was when they had a stalker up in their home. And ever since that video, quite a number of things have happened. One of those things is that another person came to their house still looking for Ruth. And of course, the good news of them welcoming their bundle of joy. Congratulations to them. On that one now back to the issue of them having stalkers come up to their home so when the first one happened you guys know we all came together we did a live video we talked about it we wished them well we were very very understanding of the situation we were even feeling sorry for the fact that oh my god you know how shaken she would have been been heavily pregnant her husband been away and one of the lessons we took out of it is for her not to disclose any weak points in their security system. For example, if one person is not around or their exact location in real time. And she sounded, I mean, she did another video and she sounded like she had learned from that, you know, like they wouldn't disclose if one of them would be out of town. But lo and behold, just a few weeks after that incident, guess what this lady did? So she and her husband were getting ready to go out for dinner and yes, she announced it. And I just didn't feel like that was a smart move. It just gave me that sense of, okay, this lady either didn't learn, not just her, together with her husband either didn't really learn from what happened to them before or even what could have possibly happened if God hadn't been with them but now it seems like things are cooling down and they are going right back to where they were so they announced that they would be going out for dinner that evening meaning anyone out there who doesn't mean this family well would know that that evening somewhere around evening time where they leave both parents would not be home meaning only the kids will be home with grandma and grandpa and again that is just more or less exposing yourself exposing a breach in your stronghold if i may say so and i found that a bit disappointing so anyways they went out for dinner and someone came to the house and the person said he was an uber driver and that ruth had called him to come pick her up and the whole explanation she gave really didn't add up in my opinion she said her dad found it strange but her dad said well ruth is not here I am feeling like the man knew, I mean the father knew that this couple was going out for dinner. So for anyone to have come to the house to say that Ruth had called an Uber, alarm bells should have just been ringing in his head to take action to call them and just try check up on them. But he didn't do all of that. So it was after they came back home that they told them, oh, someone came and said he came to pick you up. And then she did a video talking about it. And I found it remarkable that someone mentioned in the comments that she had made a mistake by announcing that they would not be home that evening. You guys take a listen to how she responded to that comment. If they, the person came looking for me, so it doesn't even matter like someone was saying oh you told them the time you're leaving for dinner or whatnot it doesn't even matter because if it was uber obviously they were looking for me so it doesn't make any sense it really doesn't make any sense so like i said before this lady didn't really learn anything from what happened to her before she is just still justifying the fact that she announced her whereabouts when she previously said that she would not do that any longer so absolutely no need for you guys to be feeling worried for them that strange people are popping in and out of their home because they themselves give away their whereabouts does that make sense and then still justifying what she did what i'm just gonna say is madam and your husband continue to announce whenever you want to go anywhere announce continue to do videos and let everybody in the world know what you are up to where you're going to who is home and who is not because like you said it doesn't really matter and if anything happens which nobody hopes then hopefully you would not come out to blame anybody but yourself anyway that one passed 
And then approximately a month or thereabout later, she and her family brought home their baby. So this has raised so much dust because apparently someone called the cops on them. Now let's listen to how she responded to that situation. And this, this coming home from the hospital, posting those videos, like... There's... I've done so much. I have done so much. That's why it's still healing. Despite going through that trauma of having a C-section, despite being in the hospital, despite, you know, everything we're going on with the baby, a lot of things that you guys, you guys actually do not know that I was hoping to share with you guys. Despite all of that has been happening, I still managed to put a video out. I still managed to edit. I still managed to leave something for you guys because I know we were in this together and we're all anticipating this baby coming. And I wanted to leave something out there, at least if we're not on live video, it's something that you could watch. And this right here is one thing I do not understand about content creators. They just believe life is supposed to be a bed of roses. When something goes wrong in their line of work, you hear them start to complain, but they also make it sound like everything they do, they are doing it for the viewers. But that is really not true because they are also doing it for themselves because they earn from the content they put out there. So this just looks a bit like emotional blackmail, like trying to make people feel guilty for something they should actually not feel guilty about because when you put stuff out there people are definitely going to respond and it is their right to do so and it is your choice to put content out there because you want to not because you're doing anybody a favor doing so yes yeah, some people might feel entertained by the contents you make but at the end of the day you are profiting financially from the content so finally i'm just going to respond to the video that people called the cops for so I watched the video and if you guys watched her explanation of how everything went down, she was mentioning that it was an eight minute long video, but the eight minute long video was the one with her parents. But the actual video that caused chaos was a video that was 12 minutes long depicting how her older kids welcomed their little brother. So here is what I find about the video. I watched everything and I honestly must say that the video wasn't as alarming as I thought it would be. Were the older kids rough on the baby? Yes, they absolutely were. There were really extreme moments in the video where they really rough handled the baby. They didn't treat the baby like an actual fragile baby. Look, babies are delicate and you need to be very careful when you handle them. But of course, you cannot really expect those other kids to know this fact. It's your duty as the parent to coach them and guide them on how they should handle the baby, which in my opinion, Ruth didn't do as much as you would have expected her to do. Even her husband was really trying, telling the older kids to be gentle, to take it easy, but they were just going hard. And Ruth, on the other hand, wasn't really either she wasn't paying too much attention or she didn't just realize how bad things could get. Look, babies' heads should be off limits and I really noticed that the kids, the two sisters, were rubbing and caressing the head very, very often and Ruth at no point tell them to be gentle, at no point try to remove their hands from the baby's head. Neither did she caution them that the head is an area you should not play with and that I find a pity but was the entire situation big enough to invite the cops over I do not think so and of course I do understand that some people have a higher resistance level than other people but we don't have to be too dramatic about some things that we see online because I mean whatever happened that you saw in that video did not happen live so for Ruth and the family to have edited the video and posted that should at least tell you that the baby was fine at the end of the whole video so in my opinion it wasn't worth calling the cops in for but it might actually send off a message to Ruth to maybe pay more attention and I'm just gonna say this that I don't even think Ruth is going to change the way she lets um, the older babies touch her baby because if she didn't see anything wrong with what happened in the entire video, then I don't think she will ever suddenly start to see anything wrong going forward just because you guys called in the cops. Ruth herself doesn't seem to realize how delicate the skull of a baby is. Babies are born with soft spots 
on the top of the head. Their skull is still open at birth. You don't let toddlers, you don't let children touch that area because anything can simply go wrong at the snap of a finger. So like I said before, I find it a pity that Ruth did not take action. She didn't intervene when those kids were just fondling that area and that from someone that already has two kids prior to this baby well the most important thing is that the baby is fine and hopefully this is going to like i said before maybe make ruth start to see things differently and coach the older kids on how fragile babies are when they start to wiggle the baby hard she should say something she should say hey take it easy don't tug at baby's legs so vigorously or something but she was just sitting there just watching everything play out which was a bit scary i must say but again not as dramatic <laughs> as everything kind of blew out of proportion that is my opinion about it of course i would like to know what do you guys think about this whole situation go ahead and drop all of your comments down below make sure you share the video because it might be helpful to someone out there maybe a young mom out there last but not least do not hesitate to like and follow this page if you haven't already i remember listening to the analyst and i will catch you all on my next one mm -hmm.